everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I was very, very excited this morning, but now I'm just very nervous. But I'm of course happy to again be in the great city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Like always, we've got lots of people here, which is much appreciated. <laughs> I am here for the first time at Coach's Pub and Grill. It's just south of downtown Milwaukee, but of course still in Milwaukee. But big thank you to my friend Chris. A couple months ago, he told me about this seven pound Grave Digger Burger Challenge. Coach, the owner, he's owned this place for like 23 years. This burger challenge has been around for like 11 or 12 of those years and I didn't know about it, none of my friends knew about it. Only one person out of over like 250 attempts has been able to finish this thing. This challenge is actually named after Mr. Gilbert Brown. It was his nickname, a retired Green Bay Packers. Apparently him and another lineman tried to eat this as a team and they still couldn't finish. But thankfully, there's only two pounds of delicious juicy ground beef on here. There's 16 slices of American cheese, 16 big pieces of bacon, pretty much a freaking salad on this thing. There's a giant handful of lettuce. There are 16 slices of tomatoes, a whole bunch of pickles, tons of onions. I think this bun is well over a pound. I've got to finish this entire basket of their pinnacle cup fries too. So I think it's all around seven pounds total. The best part of this is if I fail, it's only $39.99. So 40 bucks if I lose. But if I do win, which we're gonna do that, we're gonna dominate today. I'll get my entire meal for free. I will get a sweet coach's t-shirt down to my collection. And I will be the second person with my name and photo up on the wall of fame. Let's get this challenge started. All right, thank goodness I trained the past few days. Thanks to Coach, the owner, his whole staff here at Coach's Pub and Grill. It was undefeated for like, I guess like nine years. And then two years ago, a guy beat it with two minutes remaining, around 58 minutes. So we're gonna try to beat that, but we just wanna win. So I think we're gonna start out getting the beef down and then do the vegetables, then all these carbs. We'll just have to see, we're gonna do our best. One, two, three. Boom! Okay. Look at this freaking bun. That is crazy. The uh, the actual beef with this thing is pretty manageable. It's all the stuff with it. That is good. The bun that I have here is not the typical bun. It's the same amount of bread, but the typical bun is actually much taller, and the fries usually go onto this pizza tray. This is way wider than the burger itself, but this is not the typical bun. A lot of pickles on this thing. If you want your son to be great at cooking meat, name him Pedro, because Pedro the chef here did amazing with this beef. Just like it was Pedro at the prime quarter that did the two 40 ounce steaks for me, those were amazing too. So again, juicy beef, this is all going right down. Pedro saw this shirt and knows that I love healthy vegetables and he gave me quite a few. All the fiber is gonna help get all this beef down. Like 20 people try this a year and fail and now I know why, there's just so much food here. But it is yummy, I'm enjoying it.
I wasn't gonna win this thing, but then my friend Ken quit fishing early today so he could come watch me eat. Much appreciated. Alright, the last of the beef. This has been delicious. this bun is giant but thankfully it's not as chewy as some of the others I have done let's just crush it and get it down almost tastes like grilled cheese The soda is gonna be very key to winning this challenge. Ooh, bread's going down, almost there. I am gonna beat the record as long as I finish in under 57 minutes. While I eat this bread, I'm strategizing for all those fries. I don't know. We're 30 minutes and 53 seconds in. I told Pedro less is more for fries and he did not listen. Twenty-seven and a half minutes to go to finish all these fries. Oh, I'm gonna make Katina proud and use some Heinz. Oh no, this is French's. It really doesn't matter. Ketchup's ketchup. Just trying to get them down. The waffle fries here look pretty good. Oh. 39 minutes, 38 seconds. We still got 20 minutes to go. Now I know why this is called the Grave Digger. Forty-four minutes.
I'm gonna try to go Oh, not enough. The coach here, Cornet, believes in me, so I gotta do this. Not quite domination, but we got. They said 56.42 on their total time, but I got 56.59. So either way, we beat 57 minutes. I'll probably just go with the 56, 59, because I know that's right when I press the timer, but oh, that was delicious, and I am so happy to get the victory, yes. I do not feel like a winner, and I do not look like a winner, but I will, I will later, because I did not dominate, but I did defeat the Grave Digger Cheeseburger Challenge here at Coach's Pop and Grill off of South 13th Street. That challenge was so good. My favorite part, definitely the meat. Pedro, the chef, did an awesome job cooking that meat. So many healthy vegetables on there. That was all great. I really just wanted to get that bun and all those fries down. But yeah, no complaints, I got the win. I am going to get my $40 cheeseburger meal for free. Come in not only just to try the burgers here, but my friend Chris, who told me about this challenge, said the chicken was really good here too. But Coach's has been around for over 23 years. In order to stay around that long, they've got to have some awesome food. Great atmosphere here too. Happy I was able to get overall win, 1,043 here. I've got a challenge down in Kenosha, Wisconsin tomorrow, but yeah, I will get a sweet t-shirt done to my collection, and I'll be the second person with my name and photo up on the Wall of Fame with the new record. So, thank you guys all for being here. Thanks to the Diet Soda for helping me get all that food down, and thank you guys for watching too.